okay it looks like we're off and okay this time I'm going to lose tempo developing my pieces I'm going to attack with a smaller piece against the higher piece I'm going to do it again this can sometimes backfire and probably leave it alone now yeah let's just push through the center here no in fact you know what I'm actually going to develop a piece now it can backfire because you can start attacking and oh bless them we'll, we'll catch the knight here I think they thought they were getting that for free okay so preemptive movements let's just bring the bishop back because the pawn is going to attack so yeah what I was saying sometimes you can fall foul you know by constantly attacking the knight dancing around and then it finds beautiful positions and then you're like oh how did that happen so I think two attacks against it is good enough and obviously then they've their blind spot they didn't see the sleeping ninja bishop so we could take opens up his king side could take he opens up his queen I'm going to take don't know which way it's going to work probably this way he hasn't he's opened up his king side area all right so they've done that we can because then pieces aren't developed at the minute just start pushing through the center a little bit he's given up pieces he's given up he's actually asked for a take back this is probably one of the only times I'm going to do a take back in chess gyms history <laughs> I may have done it on one occasion before let's go here I usually say I don't do take backs because we're playing real chess you know you don't get to do that when you're playing over the board but I think they've suffered enough by giving away the night so let's see what they've got in store for us we can take his pawn takes again knight takes unless of course his queen's finding a nice position uh, let's take lots of space around his king area now and it looks like they've kind of left the game okay so yeah okay that was a very strange build up a strange opening and we took advantage of what was on the board basically uh, the opponent gave it to us but it's about knowing what to do in order to get these types of positions in the first place so even though the opponent may have played badly in the observer's eyes it's for the likes of yourself when you're actually playing games to be able to spot those situations and take advantage of them